Okay, we are live. A couple things going on. We got Nino Man chilling out, holding a place. We got Soka holding a place. Samson holding a place. We have Bella here. We have Jake here. And we have Doc here. What we're going to be doing is a little bit different than staying in the room. We're taking impulse control to another level. We're taking blind stays and, and, and all that stuff to another level. These guys are expected to hang out the whole time. We're working one, two, and three for their food, right? What's up, King? How are you? So, a couple things we're gonna do is we understand that these dogs really struggled with impulse control. Uh, these two especially. This guy uh, has anxiety. He's a really chill kind of dog, but struggles when he's not in the mix. So what we're doing today is we have these open. We have a placement in the reception room. He's gonna be holding a place kind of over there, a little bit of a blind place where you can see things going on. He can hear, he knows we're working for food. He's food motivated, not as fast as the rest of these guys, but he knows the deal. So first thing I'm gonna do, as you see, he's hunting for flies right now. There's a fly over there. I'm gonna go ahead, I got Angie with me too. I'm gonna call uh, Jake. Let's go, bud. Good job, come on. It's pretty chill. Come on, Jake. Good job, yeah. Place. Very good, you got a little kibble there. Down. Good. So he's hanging out. Look at, look at that beautiful green machine, the Jeep out there. There's gonna be a lot of traffic going on. He's gonna hang, right? So, <laughs> Laura, Laura, you're funny. What are you doing here? I'm recall Bella. It's gonna recall Bella. Bella's gonna be high drive. This guy's expected to stay. Right. Like this guy. Nope. Hey, face. That's how I follow through there. She's coming on over. Let's tell him. Down. Good. I'm gonna spy on this guy over here. Check him out over there. See him. Good. Give her a recall. Probably here. Good girl. Place her on that uh, high end in a second. Downstairs. Yeah. Got the king, Nino, the OG. I think he's like 15. Hanging in the corner there. Some more people traffic. What do you expect her to do? You want her to stay there? Yeah. You want to place her? Okay. Why don't you go ahead and uh, give Doc a call? Doc. Good boy. I think he tripped over his. You might want to take his uh, his leash off. Yeah. <laughs> take, yeah. Just take the whole problem off. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's give that another run. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, place him. Look at this knucklehead. A little high. There's a lot of food bowls around, so this is this is hard for him, right? But getting noped is very important. He's gotta he's gotta be able to get called off of something that he'd rather be doing. This is stuff that a lot of dog trainers aren't doing. It's like yeah, we understand making making uh, um, what we ask a really nice choice for the dog and something that a dog would prefer to do. But there's going to be situations where a dog will say, yeah, I know how to do that, but I'd rather do this. And you have to be relevant in those situations to say, no, but I need you to do that right now because we don't live in the middle of nowhere. We live in a world where there are distractions, whether you're in an urban environment or a suburban environment, um, where there are distractions. So she's gonna get a nice reward for holding that. Um, you can see this guy over here just hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and give him food. But it has to be known. It's one thing to make something a preferred choice for a dog. Um, but you have to prepare for if the dog doesn't want to make that choice. So that's, that's the training. Good job, buddy. That's very, very important. I gave this guy beef liver before, so he was like, that's not beef liver. Um, that's the training that's really, really important. It's like, listen, like you have to train for both. You have to train for in a way where dogs prefer making right choices. But you also, as a good handler, should train in the event that a dog doesn't want to listen to you. That shouldn't be a priority. You should teach your dogs what they should be doing and make it enjoyable for them to do, but also understand that there are distractions 
and, and there are rewards outside of that piece of cheese, outside of that filet mignon, outside of like all the hard work that you've done where a dog sometimes just wants to be a dog and is gonna say, listen, I, I, know, I know the choice that I'm supposed to make pretty good. What are you tweaking for today? I know the choice that I'm supposed to make, but right now this grass or this rabbit poop or this, this squirrel um, seems like I want to do that more and I don't want to listen to you. And in that situation, you have to practice being more relevant. So this guy is going to be expected, uh, what are you going to call him one more time? Okay, why don't you go ahead and uh, lower his level. What level was he on? Um, he was on like six, seven. All right, let's go ahead and let's put him on like a five. So you can see right now she's hanging out. He got up, he got noped. Good stuff. Nope. Right there again. Probably through. Call Doc one more time and then go ahead and place him. Yeah, there we go. Thinks he's getting that food. Go ahead and place him over in the corner. There, see that's the struggle for him. Good. See, those are the interruptions that are very important, and that's where we have that invisible Good. leash. Not to like shock him into compliance, but for him to feel that invisible leash or that tap on the shoulder or something like that. Very, very important. Probably gonna go ahead. I was gonna set that up in a second. Yeah, leave that open. Um, yeah, yeah, it's important. You know, there's a lot of things that we have going on. Hopefully, my phone doesn't cut out on me, but what I'm gonna do here in just a minute is probably end up rewarding this goober head here. Good. Very nice. <laughs> That's good, let him get that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and call him right now. It's gonna be a little bit of a blind recall. Jake here. Good boy, I hear you coming. That's my boy, come on, let's go. Come on, good job. Place. Good. Sit. Down. Very nice, buddy. Now we're gonna go ahead. Why don't you call? Uh, give uh, Bella a call. These guys are expected to stay. Come right. here. Very nice. Work her around. Let these guys work on their impulse control. Jake is done. I'm happy for him to just kind of not be involved. That was one of his struggles and his anxieties is learning how to hold a place and he did really well so his job is done these dogs need to focus more he's got to learn to work on um listening to us over the food which is pretty important i'm gonna go ahead and bring uh bella's dish right over here for you Come here. good girl here. good very good and this is good hard because there's other dogs around this is hard when we're calling one dog and you hear the word here, but we're not talking to you, or we're not talking to you. And it's also hard because some dogs are smelling food and we're calling them away from the food, right? So. Down. Good. Got distracted once that food was moved. Doc here. Good job. There we go. He's like, I knew you were gonna call me at some point, Doc. Yes, hey, yes. Yeah, good job. So he's gonna think he's gonna come over there, but we're gonna blind place him. Doc, let's go. Good job. Come here, bud. It's gonna be hard for this guy. Place. Down. Good. Let me see how this guy does. That's our puppy. Did he go after the fly? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, why don't you, oh, you gave it to her earlier? Oh, yeah, I gave it to So why don't you just call your dog real quick? Call Samson over to you? After she's after you down her when she's done, just because I want I want Doc in the, in the over there in the corner to hear something up. that's not like for him. Yeah. Sit. Good. Down. Good. I'm about to be What's that? Who are you gonna call? Oh, Bella. Oh, okay. We got our puppy down there. I'm gonna be 
Because you're not about to put this AC on and go, it's kind of hot. Oh, here. You're too far. Go. Here. Good there girl. You go. The gate was going Too far and too low. There you go. Good job. Very nice. Good stuff, girl. Good stuff. And check Let's this go. out. Your body language that place. Yeah. Good. Good girl. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and place it now? Let's go. Place. Good. Down. Good. Good. I'm gonna call Jake one more time. Jake, come here, bud. Go, boy. Come on, Jake. Forget about that fly. Fly's not important. Come on, bud. Place. Good. Jake, down. Good boy. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to call. Why don't you go ahead and call Doc? You go. Could you? I'm just. Okay, you want to go? Yeah, thanks. You want to call him? Here, hold the camera. Okay. All right. Got here! Good boy! Yeah! <laughs> Good boy! Place him on by the door over there. Good. You want to go Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope! Got here! Watch your, your body language. Got <laughs> here! Good. I got the food over there. Let's go! Nope! Yeah, you see that's hard for him, but he's doing pretty good. Some more traffic. Good, Good. stuff. Good stuff. Awesome. And that is what we have going on today. Uh, we have Ruby still to feed and um, Casper to feed. And we just fed Lucy, right? You fed Lucy? So that was that. And uh, that's what we have going on for right now. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.